I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an excellent question on infinite geometric series. Find the first three terms of an infinite geometric series in which sum of all the terms is 15 and sum of squares of all the terms is 45. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let me give you general formula. If I have an infinite series, which is let's say a, a r, a r square, a r cube, so on, right? So that infinite series sum is basically equal to a over 1 minus r, if r is very, very less or it's less than 1, right? Small quantity, less than 1. So, so that is what an infinite series is. Now in this case we are given that find the first three terms of an infinite series in which sum of all the terms is 15. So sum of all the terms is 15 means this particular formula, right? So we could write this as 15 equals to a over 1 minus r, right? So that is we get sum of all the terms is 15. Now it says sum of squares of all the term is 45. So if I square them, then the series will become a square, right? So, uh, so we have here a term is a square and the product will become r square. Do you see that? Right? And then think like this. We have uh, uh, kind of like this. A, a square is now your base right the first term so it is a square and this becomes r square you are multiplying by r square you get the idea right so the the r value is r square right so so that becomes the ratio of the consecutive terms so you'll have a square r square cubed do you see that so third time is getting so for the square series, what we have as 45 is the sum. The first term is a square and the ratio is r square. So we get the second equation as 45 equals to a square over 1 minus r square. Is that clear to you? So we get two equations to work with. Now, since we have two equations and two variables, it should not be difficult to find the answer. So now, uh, what we can do is 1 minus r, 1 minus r square. Let me rewrite equation number 2 in slightly different way. Factoring the denominator, we could write this as a square over 1 plus r times 1 minus r. Right? So this is the same as equation 2. Right? Let me say this is equation 2b, right? equivalent form. Now if I now if I want to eliminate r square a square for example then I should divide this by this right so I could eliminate it so let's do this uh, if I divide equation 2 by equation 1 in that case what do we get we get 45 over 15 equals 2. Now here a square divided by a square let me uh, write like this first a square divided by 1 minus r square in factored form like this and a divided by let's put this in bracket right 1 minus r. So that goes three times we get 3 equals 2 a and a cancels we get a and here 1 minus r cancels we get 1 plus r so we get a over 1 plus r. Is that clear to you? So when you divide these two, you get 45 divided by 15 as 3. A square, A cancels. So you're left with A. 1 minus r square is product of 1 plus r and 1 minus r. One of them gets cancelled. We are left with 1 plus r. Right? So let's call this as our equation number 3. Now, what we could do again is divide equation number 1 with 3, right? So let's again perform this operation. 
So if I divide 15 by 3, I get 5, right? A by A, A cancels. So this is in the denominator, that is in the numerator now, right? So we are left with uh, 1 plus R over 1 minus R, clear? Now we can cross multiply, so we get 5 times 1 minus r equals to 1 plus r and we can solve for r from here. So we get 5 minus 5r equals to 1 plus r. Taking this on the right side we get 5 minus 1 I mean which is 4 equals to r plus 5r. So 4 equals to 6r or we get r equals to 4 over 6 which is which is equals to 2 over 3 right so we get the value of r as 2 over 3 now we can find what a is substituting this value in our equation number 1 right? let's call this as equation 4 so when i substitute 4 in 1 i get 15 equals to a over 1 minus 2 over 3 so which is a over so 3 minus 1 is 1 so we get 1 over 3 right so it becomes 15 times 1 over 3 equals to a and that gives you the value of a as equals to 5 right so we get 5 as the value of a so the first three terms will be 5 that is a times a r r is 2 over 3 second is 10 over 3 and then again multiplying by 2 over 3, we get 20 over 9, correct? So that is the first three terms of our infinite series. So this, these are the steps involved to solve the question. I hope they are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.